In Ghosts of Tsushima, Inari Shrines are scattered across the map and are worth finding to expand the amount of charms your character can equip at a time. But what significance did these shrines have in the Japanese culture during the time period that the game takes place in, and also in present day? So far, I'm really enjoying Ghosts of Tsushima, and you should also check it out if you enjoy games like Assassin's Creed. But before you start, switch the dialogue to Japanese with English subtitles because the voice acting is superb and gives it a more authentic tone. First, let's look into Inari Shrines in present day Japanese culture. One of the most famous landmarks and tourist sites in Japan has to be the Fushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto, and you've probably seen pictures of it if you have friends, family, or acquaintances that's been to Japan. Its distinguishing feature is the orange and black tori gates you walk through that lead to the shrine within. There are about a thousand tori gates around the main path and thousands more lining the road up to the mountain, and the writing you see on them shows each one has been dedicated to the shrine by an individual or a group. Tori gates are traditionally made of wood or stone, but modern ones can be made out of other materials like steel. Similar to the type of material, Tori gates come in different styles and have specific names based on its construction. For example, the Tori gates of Fushimi Inari Shrine are called Senbon Tori, Senbon translating directly into thousands of something. Back to Ghosts of Tsushima, there's locations called fox dens where a cute red fox will lead you to the exact location of a nearby Inari Shrine, usually along a mountain path or off the beaten trail. So what's the story with the fox, the significance of the fox statues, and why is it called an Inari Shrine? In the Shinto religion, the indigenous religion of Japan, Inari is the okami or deity of rice, agriculture, and fertility, among many other things. The Fushimi Inari Shrine is one of the 30,000 shrines dedicated to Inari across Japan. In the time of feudal Japan, where the game takes place, samurai would give offerings to Inari who had become the patron of blacksmiths and seen as a protector of warriors. Inari has been depicted as both male and female in traditional paintings, but is more commonly seen as female today with Inari's connection to fertility. The Okami Inari hasn't always been associated with foxes, but where you see shrines dedicated to Inari, you will often see statues of the fox, like at the previously mentioned Fushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto. It's believed that the fox became associated with Inari because rodents eat rice, the foxes eat rodents, and therefore seen as doing Inari's work as the Okami of rice and agriculture. The red fox isn't an okami like Inari, but is considered Inari's messenger. In Japanese, a red fox is called a kitsune, and the kitsune is a popular creature with roots in Japanese folklore. Kitsune is not only a fox, but a yokai which are a class of supernatural monsters, spirits, and demons in Japanese fables and stories. Often represented with many tails, like Vulpix and Ninetales from Pokemon, or Kurama from Naruto. Kitsune are known to be extremely intelligent, provide good luck, and warding evil spirits away, but at the same time are mischievous and delight in playing tricks and pulling off pranks. Stories say that if you help a kitsune, you will be blessed with good fortune, but if you get on its bad side, bad luck befalls you. So in the game, when you give tribute to the fox statues, you are invoking the Okami Inari to protect you on your journey and the battle against the Mongols. After the kitsune leads you to the shrine, they run away to an unknown location. Could this mean that they are really yokai, or spirits leading Jin, maybe by the direction of Inari? Similar to how the spirit of Jin's father is present with you in the form of the guiding wind. Or could there be more sinister motivations at play? Kitsune are also known to shapeshift into beautiful women, children, or old people, often to trick or manipulate people they encounter. They can often stay in their human's form for long periods of time, taking on regular jobs, getting married to other humans, and starting families. But sometimes when they are surprised, careless, or drunk, their disguises can fail and some of their true features, like their fur, tail, or fangs, reveal themselves. The benefit of visiting these Inari shrines in-game is that it allows you to equip more charms. While visiting shrines and temples in Japan, you will often see vendors or gift shops selling small charms or talismans called omamori. These charms contain a small prayer on the inside covered by a silky cloth and are not meant to be opened, as they will basically release the blessing that's contained within. Unlike the properties of the charms you collect in-game, like dealing extra damage, there are different types of omamori to bring you good luck in various areas of life. Popular ones include those that are supposed to bring you good fortune and money, bring success in school or your career, and more traditional ones that ward away evil spirits and misfortune. There are literally hundreds of different kinds of omamori today, ranging from finding love, to preventing getting viruses on your computer. These pocket-sized blessings are meant to be carried around with you or left at home where you will be around it often. These omamori do have expiration dates as its blessings wear off after about a year, 
when you should return to the shrine or temple to pay your respects and acquire a new one. While I haven't finished the game yet, there was a side quest where you encounter a forest believed to be haunted by yokai, so there could be more references to Japanese folklore or other okami down the road. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this quick video, how are you liking Ghost of Tsushima so far? As I get further into the game, I plan to create more videos as there seem to be a lot of cool Japanese history and lore that the game incorporates. Thanks for watching, leave a comment, a like, or consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. So until next time, take care.